Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk through using an Elgato capture device. It's an external device um, which captures the screen output from your Mac. Um, this is really useful uh, for doing both screen recordings like I am right now, um, and also doing capturing game or other video uh, from your Mac. Um, so um, just to walk through this real quick, uh, when you get your capture device, um, you have this piece of software called Game Capture HD. And I'm gonna walk through the interface and what's going on with this real quick. But um, let's take a look first at the device and then hit everything else. So um, on this page, just go to Elgato, E-L-G-A-T-O.com. Uh, this is the device that I have, it's a 30 frames per second. There's a newer device that's 60 frames per second. Um, but for the sake of honesty, this is the one that I'm using right now. Um, now, with your Mac, if you're on a desktop, like a MacBook Pro, I'm sorry, a Mac Pro, um, you may have an HDMI out. I'm not familiar with the system, but assuming you're probably on a laptop on, like I am, uh, you're going to have a display port. And what you're gonna to need to do is to get a display port to HDMI adapter. Uh, this one is part of the Amazon Basics program and is only $10, so it's actually really cheap. Um, you can also go down to, if you have an Apple store nearby where you live, uh, you can go down and they have one, um, actually have a couple right now. Um, they have one for 20 or $30, um, but the, the Amazon one works great, so. Uh, that's what you need. You need this and you need that. Um, you also need an HDMI cable. Um, if you don't have one of those, you can look it up. I think everyone does, whatever. Anyway, let's get back to the, uh, get back on track here. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk through uh, first how to get the set sound set up on your Mac with Game Capture HD. And uh, then we're going to come back at the very end and just touch on the video settings. Um, and this is just stuff that I've, it took me a little while to figure out and I think is pretty accurate. So um, let's get right to it. So um, inside of Game Capture HD, you can see here on the bottom left, it's recording, yada, yada, yada. Um, now, what you want to do is first, we're going to have, is you have to have live commentary turned on. And the reason why is that, um, in the output, and I don't have it here, but ah, this, yeah, you, you can see it here. So um, you're, it's gonna create three different files at the end of this that we're gonna use. So your commentary uh, audio file is just you talking. Um, your game audio is going to be the, the output of your system. So this will be um, your screen, whatever is playing on the screen or the video game or whatever you're playing. And then finally, you have the uh, movie file itself, and the movie file is has the combined audio of both you talking and the sound out, the system audio output, um, all overlaid with the video, um, which can be useful if you want to use it that way. But ha but having these bro broken out into three different files um, uh, makes doing your video editing a lot easier in the end. So um, let's go back to here. So the, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that live commentary is turned on. Uh, this is indicated by clicking it and making sure that it's blue. Uh, the next step is making sure that uh, go under the live commentary section here. Um, under your audio input, make sure that this is set to your microphone. In, in my case, it's my Blue Yeti Pro, um, but your external microphone would work just fine. Um, the Soundflower, two and 64 channel is from uh, a different video. Uh, you can look back and find that. That's how to do screen recording with QuickTime on your Mac without needing external hardware. Um, so uh, there's that. Now, the next thing to do, and this is kind of a critical thing that most people miss. So uh, go to your spotlight, type in MIDI or audio MIDI setup. Go ahead and open that up. Um, and hold on one second, just to get the uh, super infinite repeating background out of <laughs> out of the background. Okay, there we go. Um, so again, uh, uh, go to audio MIDI setup. Now, what the, this is the critical thing. Um, what you need to do is click on this plus and choose create multi output device. And it'll explain exactly what this does in just a second. 
Okay. Um, now, in here, what you're going to want to do is select built-in output and HDMI. Um, this is what the Elgato will show up as. Um, now, uh, that's it. And then the last thing is you would want to right-click on this and choose this option, use this device for sound output. I'm not going to do it right now because I already have mine set up and it would uh, disrupt the audio. But, um, okay, there you go. So that's uh, that. Okay. Next step, go to the sound control panel here. And uh, you can ignore the input. Um, this doesn't actually have anything to do with uh, what we're setting up right now, so you can ignore that. Uh, go to output. Now, this is where the multi-output device is actually very important. Um, the problem that most people have is that in order for the Elgato to record your screen and your audio, um, you have to output your system sound to the Elgato, to this HDMI um, here. Now, the, the problem when you do that is then you can't hear your system anymore. Um, so what this does, uh, if we go back down here, what the multi-output device does, this is built into Mac OS, is um, lets you route multiple uh, in, um, sorry, to create multiple exit points for your audio. So what we're doing is sending, sending the audio to the HDMI here and then sending the rest of it to the built-in output. And like right now, I just have a pair of headphones plugged in, nothing special, and I can hear all of my own audio. Um, and that's, that's really it. It's literally just multi-output device and then set your output to the aggregate device. And you can even rename the multi-output device um, if you want. I'll name mine Elgato. Um, now, there's a couple of other settings in here that we should look at. Um, uh, they're not critical, but you, if you run into audio problems, you might want to take a look at this. So, um, if you look at, for HDMI, the default uh, source for this is 48,000 hertz, and it's two-channel 16-bit integer. Um, like I said, this may not matter to you, so uh, feel free to do this or not. The other thing is uh, the built-in output uh, was was for me originally 44.1, and just to make sure that my two audio sources matched, um, I set them both to be the same. So in this case, my built-in output is matching the um, HDMI output. So you can do that if you want. It shouldn't matter, but anyway, um, the main reason I did this is that when I'm outputting my audio. Uh, in either Final Cut or in Premiere Pro, um, I want my um, sound settings to match the source files. That's the main reason why. Um, so last time, uh, create your multi-output device and set it as your output, and that's it. It's actually really, really easy. Um, now, the benefits of doing this, uh, and this is where most people run into a problem, is that they end up getting this infinite repeating echo, kind of the audio equivalent of what's going on here with the screen and screen and screen. So what you would see, if you watch other YouTube videos about uh, people setting up the Elgatos for doing screen recording, is that they get the infinite repeating echoes of themselves. Um, so this avoids that because the audio input is going directly through the Game Capture HD. It's not being recorded by your system at all. Um, and so it's just going to write out the Game Capture HD is then saving it off to the commentary file and merging it with the, um, the game file, or your video file, sorry. Um, and it's also separating out your system audio. So we can actually take a look at this. Let, um, let's go to this conveniently uh, loaded tab that I have. Um, so I'm gonna play this and talk at the same time. Yeah, it might be a little hard to hear me, but if we go back over here, we can see audio. Yeah, we have this coming here. All right. Okay, I don't want to play that too long, you know. You know, you, you know YouTube. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> buy this, buy this. 
uh, set up the two audio things, and um, it's pretty straightforward. Now, um, one thing, like, let's finish this out, and let's just look at video settings, because this was actually a little tricky for me to figure out at first. Um, so the first thing that's going to happen is when you plug your DisplayPort adapter in and you get it all connected, um, your Mac is going to register it as a second display, just like if you had plugged it into um, your laptop, if you'd plugged it into like a cinema display or an external monitor, right? Um, so it's going to change the aspect ratio of your display. Um, so what we can do is um, go to displays. Again, if you don't know, um, spotlight is command space or in the top right, hit the little microphone, okay? So let's go to displays. And I will show you what we have. So the uh, optimize for here, is Elgato, best for Elgato should be fine um, because the actual settings for this are, are kind of set up here in Game Capture HD. Um, the last thing you want to do in terms of your Mac settings is under your display dropdown, uh, make sure that display mirroring is turned on and make sure that your device is set for your Elgato, okay? Um, now, the reason you want to do that is because we're trying to capture the screen output in 1080p, uh, and most Macs, I don't think any Macs, actually have a true 1080p output. Um, the native resolution on my MacBook Pro is 20... Ooh, I'm totally missing the numbers. Like 2440 by... 1800 or something like that. Um, it, I'll, I'll look it up later. Um, point is, it's not 1080p. Um, so, uh, last part of this. Let's go to the settings here. And um, this is actually pretty straightforward. So, uh, the reason these are grayed out is because I'm capturing a video right now. Um, but you want to make sure that your input device is set to other. Um, set your input to HDMI. Just follow along with the screen. Set your profile to HD 1080. Um, and this is kind of critical. Uh, turn off cropping and make sure that these two are not checked. And that's kind of all there is to it. Um, you can prop you, you can adjust these as you need to. These are just different settings. Um, profiles. I don't even have a profile. Okay. Um, yeah. So you really don't. These settings, I think, more occur if you're, uh, say, recording from your Xbox or PlayStation. Um but that is about it. Um, and that's what I'm actually using to record this screen session right now. Um, so it's actually too bad. I'll run through it one more time real quick if people need it. So starting from the beginning in your game capture HD. Uh, commentary is turned on, this thing. Audio input, set that to your microphone, right? Even a built-in microphone on your laptop can work just fine. Um, if that's all you got, that's cool. Uh, next thing, you want to go to uh, MIDI, audio MIDI setup. Audio MIDI setup. Ah, this is good. In the case where you go, and notice audio MIDI setup is on, but you don't see it, hit Command 1 or show audio devices. Okay. Um, second thing was hit this to create your multi output device. Inside of your multi-output device, remember you can rename it, I rename my Elgato. Um, you need to make sure that uh, the built-in output is selected as is HDMI. And if you care, make sure that the formats are matching. Uh, then you need to go to sound. And ignore input, that doesn't matter. Go to output, simply make sure that the... Um, Ah, rename it something different. <laughs> um, this should say uh, multi-output device. But anyway, um, you set it to the aggr aggregate device. That way your sound is going out in both, uh, both things. Both sound output things. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, I hope this helps uh, other people. And uh, feel free to subscribe and like the video and all that stuff. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks a lot.